This is Marty with Marty's Diesel, and today I'm going to talk about pairing your Marty's Diesel e-fuel system with a CNC four-line feed kit. The Marty's kit does not need the CNC kit to function properly, but they can work well together with simple modification. When ordering your Marty's kit, please let the vendor know that you will be using your Marty's Diesel kit with a CNC four-line feed. This way, we can remove the items that you don't need to avoid confusion when you are installing your kit. If you decide to add a CNC four-line feed kit after you purchase our fuel system, that's okay too. You really only need one fitting since we upgraded to the billet fuel filter bases. Let's start by covering the diagram that shows how the standard Marty's kit works. This photo is a little outdated, but it'll work for this video's purpose. I will start at the green, larger fitting on the selector valve. Fuel moves from the selector valve into the vacuum gauge. In this diagram, we show the black inline fitting that we no longer need due to the vacuum ports being in the fuel filter bases now. Fuel will move through the filters and the pump and then out to the fuel pump replacement fitting. From there, fuel goes through the rear of the headlines and then through the injectors and the heads. Once fuel leaves the front ports on the heads, it will go into either side of the regulator. Fuel will return through the bottom port on the regulator back to the blue quick disconnect on the selector valve. This is a standard regulated return setup. Now let's contrast that to how the CNC four line feed kit will work with our kit. I will once again start with a green selector valve fitting, but since I have updated the photo, it's on the other side now. With the fuel system outlet facing to the left, this is an outside frame rail mount. Fuel will move through the green selector valve fitting first into the first fuel filter base. Then it will go through the filters and the fuel pump. Here is the key difference. The regulator will be mounted on the outlet of the second fuel filter. Here the fuel has two options. The first option is to continue through the regulator at whatever you set the pressure to and will go up and attach to the CNC four line feed kit. You will not use the half inch fitting that CNC provides, but rather use the 3 8 adapter fitting that we supply. Once the fuel makes its way up to the CNC four line feed, fuel will then be pushed into all four corners of the engine with no regulated return. The regulator is mounted down on the fuel pump assembly and it regulates the feed. This hose will provide return from the bottom port of the regulator to the blue fitting on the selector valve. Here is how we achieve all of this without adding any fittings. Start by taking the blue o-ring from your regulator bag and place it over the 6x6 outlet fitting on your fuel pump assembly. Then install the regulator like you see on the photograph. Tighten it down and usually the gauge port faces down or faces out depending on which side you install it on. This doesn't really matter since we have gauge ports on the fuel filter bases now and you also have one on the CNC 4 line feed kit adapter. You can use either of the three ports to install your fuel pressure gauge. It's worth mentioning that the overall length of the pump assembly has increased, so be sure to have plenty of room on the forward side of the fuel system when installing. As usual, if you have any questions or wish to purchase our products, feel free to visit our website, send us an email, or call our shop phone using the information provided on your screen. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.